Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your Asus VivoBook X415e or what you actually can upgrade on this machine. Before anything I'll show you the specs before. At the moment it has Windows 10 installed, hopefully this can be changed later on to Windows 11. And as you see, 11th generation Core i3 CPU, not upgradable, tell you that right away. So whatever CPU you have on your machine, you're stuck with it. There's the four gigs of RAM. Hopefully we can change that. We'll find out in a minute anyway. And of course your solid state drive as well, 128 gigs. I, I do hope we can change that as well for something big, bigger and maybe a bit faster as well. I'll go to device manager just for a second. Uh, we'll go briefly over the specs again here. That's your, as I said, 128 gigs of solid state drive, Intel Ultra HD graphics and your CPU, of course, as well, as I said before, 11 Gen i3. That's the specs now before we're ready to open up this uh, little laptop. All you need is your very, very standard uh, Phillips screwdriver. I use this 57 in one. Leave the link in the description if you're interested. Great little tool for other jobs as well. And when you're taking out the screws now, do keep them separate. Some of them at least because they are different sizes. Some are shorter, some are longer. Remember where you took them out so you know where you put them back again. Otherwise you will damage your laptop. Believe me, I've done it a few times in the past, so do learn from my, from my mistakes, not from your own. And once the screws are out, you are ready to lift the back panel. I use this kind of a plasticky tool there. If you don't have similar one, do use something else made out of plastic, sharper, I suppose. Don't use metal, don't use knives, don't use screwdrivers because you will damage your laptop, you're gonna leave ugly marks on it or even worse, break the plastic altogether. It shouldn't take you longer than maybe a minute or two. It does come off relatively easy. Just take your time, be patient. Although here at the end now I have to little, put a little pressure on it to get it off. There we go, it's off now. Okay, there's your model number again, X415E, as I said before. And the inner look of the back panel as well, just in case you're looking for spares. And that's the inside look. Great news, I suppose. We'll go over the specs in a minute now, and you're gonna have a closer look as well. I'll just go over a few components now. That's your battery, of course, and serial number as well, if you are looking for same battery. Battery connection, of course. That's your DDR4 RAM slot. Max you can install in it is 16 gigs. There is four gigs soldered to motherboard. So in total, if you put 16 gigs in it, you're gonna have 20 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM. That's your CPU under that, of course. That's your Wi-Fi card. Don't worry, we're gonna have a closer look in a minute. CPU fan, of course, very strangely positioned now, I have to say. And that's your solid state drive. At the moment, 128 gigabyte, of course. And funny enough, this laptop has actually space for 2.5 inch drive and uh, actually has a little connection there on motherboard as well, but there is no ribbon or anything, so I don't know. If you can find one, you can install probably extra drive on this machine. Never tried that personally, so I can't recommend it. Okay, just a closer look now. And as I said before, CPU is not upgradable. That's your Wi-Fi card. Closer look here as well, if you are looking for spare. CPU fan and your solid state drive, of course. I'm not sure, was that originally here or was that replaced by someone? Because that is secondhand laptop, I didn't get that new, so. And that's your hard drive connection here for 2.5 inch drive. Have not tried that. I, I presume it does work since it has connection on the motherboard. So if you get the ribbon, you might be able to get extra drive on this machine as well. 
Okay, before any upgrades, I do recommend disconnecting battery, just for safety, I suppose. It does come off easy, just push back, push back that little metal clip and pull out the connection. That's it, we are ready for upgrades. And we're gonna install 16 GB of DDR4 RAM. I'm gonna leave the link in the description, so if you are looking for a similar one, it's gonna be easier to find. They're not too expensive now, it's well worth it probably easiest upgrade you can do as well just slide it in there and push it in that's it that's your ram upgrade done we'll see what we can do now with the solid state drive itself as well it holds in just with the little screw there i'm going to show you now a small one there that's it once that's out you can pull out the drive itself and as i said take good care now that is it it's your 128 gigs of storage there yep that's what's gonna go in now one terabyte samsung 970 evo plus same thing i'm gonna leave the link in the description if for the same one or similar one or even better one i'll see what's available there at the moment this does work though guaranteed Okay, that's how it looks. Closer look now again. One terabyte. Only one thing after upgrading your solid state drive, you do have to uh, install your Windows again. And it was not straightforward for this machine, so I do recommend doing a bit of research on that. I'm not gonna go through that over here now, but it was not straightforward. Anyway, it wasn't for me, so hopefully you, 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 you'll do a bit better. That's it, upgrading done. We can start closing it up again, I suppose. Oh, no, hold on, we forgot something. Battery connection, of course. Oh my God, I've done that many times now, left that the way it was and closed it up and then, oh, okay. So just push it back in there and that's it. Do not forget that. Okay, that's, that, that is it now. You can put the back panel back again and screw the screws in. Uh, and in a minute we're gonna go into Windows again and you see the specs of that uh, new configuration. And of course I installed Windows 11 on this machine after. And as I said before, it was not straightforward because machine didn't... Um, I didn't see the drive on Windows in installation, you could see the drive in the BIOS, but you, you probably have to do a bit of research on it. Okay, that's it, now we'll go into Windows and uh, you'll see the specs. Of that new upgrade as well. Go to this PC properties and as you see we have 20 gigabyte of RAM now. Great news overall so we can upgrade RAM, we can upgrade solid state drive so not bad at all. 20 gigs will do most people 100%. I'll show you the solid state drive now as well. There you go, that's your one terabyte. I'll go to device manager now as well, so you'll see yourself. That's pretty much it now, guys. Hopefully it was helpful. And, uh, you know, if, if it was, like the video, leave comments. And you know what? Have a great life. Bye bye.